My caseload is the highest it's ever been in the 14 years I've been with the state. Worker burnout is high. Cherish Vick is a social worker. She says her entire office is overburdened, which can lead to dire consequences. When we can't properly attend to the Marylanders we serve on our caseloads, people unfortunately die. At the Department of Juvenile Services, Denise Henderson Johnson says every day is a struggle. It's scary. It's scary to come to work and have to say a prayer. God, please let me leave this place in the same predicament that I came in here. Denise and Cherish are two of the state workers who spoke today, calling on Governor Hogan, as well as the next administration, to address staffing issues. They want the state to fill 95% of the current vacant positions and reinstate positions that were eliminated over recent years. Organizers want the administration to audit private service contracts and drop those that could be handled by state workers. It's unacceptable in the richest state in the United States uh, that has the, the, the wealth and the resources to fix these problems. Governor Hogan's office responded tonight with a statement writing in part, the state committed salary enhancements and bonuses to state employees totaling more than $850 million. We advanced agreements with all of our state employee unions, including one with AFSCME just days ago. People are tired. People are stressed. They still come to work and still try to do their job. But it's hard. AFSCME workers are also calling on the governor's office to put money into facility upgrades and the state workers' prescription drug plan.